Hey, what's up, gang? Kawaii 5 here with another fake Grand Order video, drinking my coffee. Oh, God, that's hot. And praying that my chair doesn't fall into the abyss. And, gang, we got leaks. We got leaks. Massive leaks. Big leaks. Lost belt. Seven leaks. Are these real? I don't know. I don't know, but we had uh, we had some leaks come out recently that were accurate, so might as well go ahead and talk about these ones now. I don't feel like I should have to say this, but I'm gonna say this. Uh, if these leaks are accurate, these will all be spoilers for Lost Belt 7. So, please keep that in mind. I do not know why you clicked on a leak video, uh, if there's any potential chance these leaks will be accurate and you will end up spoiling yourself for Lost Belt 7 while being worried about spoilers for Lost Belt 7. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that right now. Uh, yeah, at this point, if you end up getting upset that you're spoiled, it is all your fault. I have done all of the things necessary. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and take a gander at the leaks. Like and subscribe if uh, you enjoy even a single one of these because I think some of them are pretty cool. All right, so to start with, to start with, just fix my chair. To start with, we have uh, some new servants. Based on these leaks, we are going to be seeing three, count them, three new five-star characters showing up in Lost Belt 7. Uh, and we've even got classes for all these characters on top of that. Let's actually go ahead and start down at the bottom of the list, a little bit of a bait and switch, and we will start with the lowest rarity characters. So starting with, we should be getting a three-star rider in the form of Hernan Cortez. Makes sense if we're going to be going down to South America, this is somebody we definitely want to be able to see. And with his low rider rarity, I picture maybe some sort of a Columbus situation, maybe even even a reverse Columbus. That would be super duper cool. All right, moving forward, we've got a couple of four star characters. Uh, to start with, we've got the Maya twins. And I know who these characters are from Civilization. Let me just go ahead and Google them really quick. Ah, yes, here we go. Juanapool and G. Blanc. Very, very good in Sid Meier Civilization 6, by the way. Maybe we want to go ahead and get them in the hero mode that game has. Anyways, they are they are pretty, pretty dandy. They've killed a couple of gods. Uh, they ended up destroying Jibalba, and they ended up climbing up into the sky. One became the sun, and another became the moon. So, a little strange that the sun and the moon are four-star servants, but that's that's fine, honestly. We've seen, uh, we've seen some powerful figures getting kicked down in the rarity. I fully believe that rarity means how difficult it is to summon that character, not necessarily how strong they are overall. Plus, they've probably been stripped of their divinity. Just putting that out there. We've also got a four-star in the form of Manuela Science. I have no idea who this is, so quick Google Foo real quick. Okay, this lady's pretty goddamn rad. Uh, she was actually in a relationship with Simone Bolivar. She ended up protesting for women's rights and was a big revolutionary. And she even prevented an assassination attempt on Simone Bolivar. So that's actually pretty goddamn cool. She was the first first lady of Colombia. Honestly, pretty solid option. Pretty interested in why she's going to end up materializing as a saber. And uh, I kind of wish we had a Simone Bolivar servant, but we'll get to that in a minute. Kicking off our five stars, our first five star that people have said is going to show up is going to be a berserker, Sun Wu Kong. Now, is this berserker the grand berserker that David Semvoid is going to have, or or is this going to be some sort of berserker we end up summoning? I don't know. I have legitimately no idea. Y'all know my feelings about the whole Grand Berserker thing. I really want it to be Kane. I think Kane would be the most fitting Grand Berserker, but any appearance of Sun Wukong is going to be awesome, especially if we get another chance to see Zhuanzong Sanzong in the story again. Let her finally reunite with her pupil. So this next one here is kind of a weird one. This is Tezgatli Polka. I hope to God I got that right. Uh, and this god is 
going to be making some waves if what they're saying in these leaks turns out to be true. Descatli Polka is actually going to be Ort. Insane. Absolutely insane. I am excited to see how they go ahead and pull this through in the story. And I'm just wondering, uh, I'm just wondering what the end game is, what the end game is here. And if maybe Hernan Cortez, as we mentioned earlier, is going to be a huge, huge enemy of this god. And our final five star servant that is going to show up is going to be a brand new rider class servant to rival Quetzalcoatl. And this is going to be the famous serpent god Kukul Khan. Kukul Khan is an absolutely powerful, powerful deity. And honestly, they're kind of... It's strange, they're kind of the same-ish. Kukulkan is from the Maya, while Quetzalcoatl is from the Aztec. So it's probably going to be some sort of other variation of our already established servant. Makes sense, we really wanted to have Ketz show up in this singularity. Ketz would be very important in having her manifest as Kukulkan, a Quetzalcoatl face. I think the fan base is going to be very, very excited for that. Now, I don't want to go super far into the NPC onlys because, I mean, they're NPCs. I don't really want to go ahead and go super deep in there and get us all excited for servants that we probably will never see leave NPC jail. The one that makes me most upset is Simone Bolivar. I get that we're getting Manuela, but my God, I really wanted to see Simone Bolivar in Fate Grand Order. Malinche is also going to be an NPC as well as Huchli Opuchli. There's going to be a Maze God. We are going to, of course, see a boss form of Ort going to finally have that showdown and there is a final leak in the form of Grand Saber Artoria Avalon. Artoria will finally show up to go ahead and put the alien god in its place. Let's be honest we all knew the Grand Saber was going to be Artoria Avalon so I really don't feel that bad about mentioning it here if you legitimately thought the Grand Saber was going to be anyone else other than the poster child of fate. I don't really know where your mindset was. The other thing we got in this leak is that we've got some new materials, a leaf for bronze and crystal skulls for silver. And this is going to be pretty, pretty silly if this is the case. Adding even more materials to our farming, I imagine pretty much all of the servants I just mentioned are going to use these materials. But anyway, that's uh, that's really all I got for you here, gang. Let me know which of the revealed quote unquote servants you are most excited for down in the comment section below. As I said, I would really have liked to see uh, Simone Bolivar, but it is what it is. I am probably most excited of the ones revealed. If Sun Wukong is real, I will be super duper jazzed for that. Truly, he went as far west as he could possibly go. Uh, if you want to talk more FGO, of course, my Discord server is always open with a fake Grand Order JP channel if you want to talk specifically about JP. And I want to give a big thanks to patrons from Patreon, subscribers and followers on Twitch, and of course, all of you here on YouTube for giving me the support that makes me want to continue making these videos. I legitimately appreciate it. Anyways, gang, that's it for me, Kawaii 5 I hope you all have a phenomenal day. I'll see y'all in the next one.